Hey guys, this is uh, X and Y Intercepts, last one, number four. Um, Dorian wins the lottery, woohoo, and deposits his winnings into a savings account at the bank. Um, he spends $2,400 every week. Um, that's a little indication there about how his bank account's going to change. It's going to change to $2,400 every week. And after 208 weeks, he's got $1,800 left in the account. If he continues to spend at this rate, how many weeks will it have taken in total for his account to become empty? So for his account to become empty um, means he's going to have zero money left in the bank. So the first thing I'm going to do is, because we know that this is a linear relation, um, we're going to write down y is equal to ax plus b, and we're just going to kind of go through some of the numbers here. First thing is, uh, we know that every week, no matter what, he spends $2,400. Well, that's the amount by which the account is changing. That's our A. And the thing to remember for this particular A is that the money is leaving his account. In other words, it's shrinking. The amount of money in his bank account is going to be decreasing, which means that that rate of change there has got to be a negative number. Uh, next up, what they're, they're really asking me is, well, when, when is this going to hit zero? Like, well, How many weeks have to go by for the amount of money in his bank account to hit zero? Um, so what they're really saying is, you know, find when that Y is zero, which is code for x-intercept. Now, if that's not too clear to you in terms of what it looks like on a graph with intercepts, don't worry about it too much. The big thing you need to realize is the account becoming empty means Y becoming zero. The amount of money in his account is the Y, right? How much money is in his account depends upon how many weeks go by. This is the dependent variable, and this is the independent variable, the number of weeks that pass. This one depends on this one, therefore this is dependent. So. We've got a general, we've got our, our slope intercept form, y is equal to ax plus b. We know by how much his account is changing every week, it's shrinking by $2,400 a week. So we know our rate of change. Our rate of change is equal to negative $2,400. Uh, they've given us the slope or the rate of change in the equation. The other thing they gave us was a piece of information that said, hey, after 208 weeks, we have 1 million. Zero 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 eight hundred dollars left in the account. So that's an X and that's a Y. So before we can answer this question of how many weeks go by before the bank account hits zero, um, we need a fully rendered equation, which means we need a B. So we've got an A, but we don't have a B. We also, though, have an X and a Y. So we've got an A, an X, and a Y. We've got an A, an X, and a Y. That's going to allow us to get the B. Once we have the A and the B, we can go ahead and answer the question itself, which is what happens when the Y is nothing. So, or the amount of money in this bank account, if you will. So we're going to do the substitution. We're going to plug the numbers in. Um, y, which is 1,800,000, will be equal to negative 2400 x which is 208 plus b so we're going to use this information to calculate that b so i'm just going to recopy the left side and now we're going to do some calculations over here sorry i should have brought my calculator in before okay uh, and so here comes the multiplication so let's clear that up. Negative $2,400 spent every week for 208 weeks gives me negative 499200 bucks. Plus B, 208 weeks, what is that? Four years, he spent half a million bucks almost. So uh, we're now going to isolate the B by adding 499,200 to both sides. And that will tell us our B. It'll go away there. 
and it'll impact this side over here. So one zero 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 eight zero zero plus four nine nine two zero zero is equal to one point five million. One million five hundred thousand. It's pretty good lottery winning. I mean that's his initial value. That's what he started with. And um you know, so the day he cashed that lotto check, he put 1.5 million in his bank. He spent 2,400 per week. After 208 weeks, he had a million left and 800. And we want to know, hey, when does his account become empty? So now that we have um, the pieces, we can answer the actual question about when the y is equal to zero. In other words, that x-intercept. So how many weeks have to go by for him to have nothing? Well. We write the equation that we figured out. Y is equal to AX plus B can now be written as Y is equal to A, negative 2400, plus, oops, sorry, X, plus 1,500,000. And we want to know what happens when his account becomes empty. In other words, when the y is zero, right? When the y is zero, how many weeks have to go by for him to be broke? So we put that zero in for the y. We copy out the rest of the equation. And now we're going to solve for x. So I'm going to subtract 1,500,000 from both sides. And I'm going to get negative 1,500,000 equal to negative 2400 x and then I'm going to divide both sides by negative 2400 so negative 1 million five hundred thousand divided by negative two thousand four hundred and that's going to give me six hundred and twenty five is my x so when x has gone to 625 weeks, he will have no money left. That's the x-intercept. 625 weeks, he will have spent all $1,500,000, assuming he never grows the account from the $1.5 and that he spends every week $2,400.